Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I, as always, your humble host, Drew, a.k.a. The Redrew89, bringing you the eighth installment in the tale of Eloria Liadre. Last episode, we got a good bit done. We made a good bit of uh, progress as far as a couple of quests that we've got going on here. First of all, the Horn of Irgen Windcaller is now in my grasp. I had to go through a bit of a, a bit of a hoop, I guess, to, to get it, but I did encounter Delphine, who is apparently uh, interested in my capabilities as the Dragonborn, and wants me to meet her in Kynes Grove to kill a dragon. So that is going to be something we're going to have to also take care of. But before we do that, I do want to come back to the Great Beards. Here we are at High Rothgar. We're going to go back up here. We're going to go ahead and have a word with these gentlemen and uh, complete my initiation as the Dragon Board. Okay. Let's go find Arn Gear. Ah, you retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wind. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Da, which means keep dog. With all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wood, I will now give you the wisdom. speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. You can withstand the unbridled voice of the great one. Tasted the voice of the Greybeard and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Sky, guard you. We 
spoke the traditional words of greeting to a dragonborn who has accepted our guidance. The same words were used to greet the young Talos when he came to High Hrothgar, before he became the Emperor Kyber Seven. Ah, I sometimes forget you are not versed in the dragon tongue. We are. This is a rough translation. Long has the storm crown languished, with no worthy brow to sit on. By our breath, we bestow it now to you, in the name of Kain, in the name of Shore, and in the name of Atmora of old. You are Ismir now, Dragon of the North. Hearken to it. No doubt, the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragon. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Breath and focus. Okay. So, there you have it. We are officially recognized as the Dragonborn by the Greybeards. So I guess the next thing we're going to do is take care of this dragon that we apparently have been contracted to, uh, to fight. Well, not necessarily contracted, but let's just say apparently it's important. Um, and then also there is the other matter here with the Galder Amulet. Now that we have all of the pieces, we do want to go and reforge that. But the problem there is the location is a bit far out. I actually don't have an easy way of getting there. The closest place that I know of is Rorikstad. And then, of course, Markarth is right over here, which is somewhere I've never been. So it may actually have to wait just a little while. Um, I don't know if we'll get to that this time around, so I'm actually going to go ahead and take that off for a little bit. And then I'll also go take a moment to mention the other quests that I've got here. I've got Arniel's Endeavor, which is a quest that you pick up at the College of Winterhold from Arniel Gain who is one of, the, uh, one of the teachers at Winterhold. He won't tell me what uh, the project he's working on is about, but he wants me to bring him some dwarven cogs, which is something we'll have to pick up along the way. I think we're going to go ahead. We do have to go, if you recall, we have to go to Mazulft, which is a dwarven ruin, so we probably might see those two being completed around the same time, perhaps. And then uh, we also have a few more here. I, I did didn't touch on it much, but apparently we also have this deal with uh, this guy named Mirak, who's in Solstheim, who apparently seems to think that I'm not the true Dragonborn, that I'm somehow an imposter of some sort. So we'll, uh, we'll have to figure out what's going on there eventually. And then of course there's also the Dawn Guard, which is something else that I might want to do later. Um, actually a good bit later. Uh, I mean, vampires are interesting to fight and all, but right now it's just not pertinent to me, I guess. Um, perhaps someday I might be interested in doing that. And then, of course, there are actually a couple of other random little things here. This one, apparently, there is a caravan uh, that is going to elsewhere. Those of you who do not know, elsewhere is the land of, uh, of the Khajiit's home, basically. That's where the Khajiit's come from. And I might be able to go there. So I might do that at some point. And then, of course, there's also uh, some guy at the Bannered Mare. I've seen him a couple times, but I haven't spoken with him yet. His name is Lorius Liori, and he would like to speak to me about, apparently, a dragon of some sort that needs fought. Another dragon, of course. Go figure. So, but for now, we've got, we've got one dragon to deal with, and I think we're going to go ahead and deal with that next over in Kynes Grove, and then before I do that, I actually want to go ahead and go through, make sure that all of the, uh, all of everything that I can is, uh, accounted for, and maybe try to get a couple of extra spells if I can, and I, I did get some equipment off camera, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to work on a little bit more, uh, 
archery, perhaps, to see if I can maybe make that useful. So I've got an elven bow here that's got a absorb magicka on it, basic enchantment. That might be useful to me. And then I've still got my or orcish mace here, and then I also picked up the soul trap enchantment. So I went ahead and got a steel dagger for soul trapping. Might be a little bit helpful to have that available. And then otherwise I've still got you know, my uh, my two staves here, which I'm actually going to go ahead and fill them up. Eh, that one doesn't need any more. Um, and then other than that, I think we should be um, we should be good to go. But I'm going to go ahead and do some stuff here off camera real quick, and then when I come back, we will go take care of that. All right, and we are back. We are standing outside of Windhelm right now. And uh, I think we are ready to go ahead and fight the uh, the dragon here at Kynesgrove. I did pick up a new perk while I was uh, off camera here, I do believe. I got the respite perk, which I'll show you that real quick. It's a handy little perk to have, more so when you're more of a mage, battle mage, like uh, melee class, but healing spells also restore stamina, which is pretty useful for refilling the stamina bar when you're sprinting. Helpful tip. this way. Also noticed the snow got a bit thicker. What's going on here? Whoa. You don't want to go up there. A dragon. It's attacking. Well, that's no good. Well, I don't know. Not yet. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Okay, run away. Go ahead. I'll be making my way up here then, apparently. Before we go, let's make sure I'm properly, properly equipped for the task at hand. That doesn't look good. Um, should I be worried? I'm thinking I should be very worried. I don't know what you just said, but it sounded an awful lot like kill this guy, so uh, I'm out. Um, yeah, this doesn't look good at all. And I don't even know what type of dragon this guy is, so I'm kind of worried. You know, I don't know which. Let's just go with the staff for a minute here. Okay, he's, uh, he's frost, so that means we are going to want to go with a fire spell. Also, let's go ahead and throw that. 
We're in trouble. Lots and lots of trouble. And that sapped us completely of Magicka, which was to be expected. Uh, that's all I've got. Shoot. Okay, staff time. Almost got him. Yes. So you really are. And that is how you kill a dragon. Some answers, don't I? Go ahead, whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were dragon slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Really? Where? Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it, we're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragon. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Now, I already, already know who the Thalmor are, but for those of you who are playing the home game... The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion. The ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. And even as a dark elf, the Thalmor are pretty much jerks. We need to find out if the Thalmor are behind the dragons coming back. We need to get into the Thalmor embassy somehow. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Okay. So, Delphine seems to believe that the Thalmor can give us more clues, apparently. That's, um, uh, yeah. I'm okay with stopping on some Thalmor, that's for sure. Um, as far as getting into their embassy is concerned, I'm, I, that gives me pause for thought. Phew. We're gonna go ahead and hold off on that. We're gonna wait before we, uh, before we go any further with that. We'll meet Delphine later. We'll catch up with her. Um... I do have a number of other quests that I think I can do here in the near future, but for now, I kind of want to get back onto the Winterhold stuff. But before I do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and take a look around. Uh, take a look around here, do a little random exploring. I'm going to do some stuff off camera 
just to kind of give myself a little bit of an edge, maybe get some more money for another good enchant, maybe change out a piece of gear. I haven't quite decided yet, but we will come back to uh, things here in a moment, and we'll uh, more than likely go ahead and venture into Mazulft and see what lies in there, depending on what uh, I have left for time. So uh, we will be right back. So no sooner did I defeat one dragon than another decides to swoop in and try to take a piece out of me. And he's right over here. So I guess bring it on, really. I mean, the last one wasn't too much of a challenge. We're kinda, what kind of... What are we dealing with here? What, what, uh, what element? Frost or fire? Frost or fire? Frost again? Okay. He's a blood dragon, too. That's kind of worrying. He's a little bit off. See if we can get up here. Where is he? Okay, he's coming in for a landing. Get some. Oh, I missed. My staff is starting to run pretty low. Let's try and see if we can retreat up here a little bit further. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's down here again. Come on. Come on, dude. Bring it. I ain't got all day. Did he just... Yeah, he's getting ready to crash land here in a minute. Come on. Yeah, he's dropping. Oh, he crashed up there. Ah, jeez. up here, next to the other one. Okay. Uh-oh. 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 Um. Bad news. Hold on. That one was a little bit clutch for a minute there. <laughs> I was kind of worried. Let's go ahead and loot him. Give me that stuff. Also, I don't know if we remembered to loot this guy. I think we did. Just double checker. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. So, and not only that, but we now have an extra Dragon Soul. So we can go on. We can unlock two new. Sh oh, no, wait. How did I only end up with one? It must have been a bug. That stinks. So we can only unlock one at this point. I'm thinking Become Ethereal is going to be the one that I want to unlock first. Aura Whisper is useful, but this one's actually pretty cool as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Favorite that. And we'll go ahead and stick it in the proper group here. Later. But I do believe we are good. Oh, no, wait, we just absorbed the other one. That's why I was too quick. Too fast. Okay, so we can unlock another one. Let's go ahead and get Aura Whisper for now. Frost Breath is kind of cool, but Aura Whisper is kind of cooler, so we'll grab that. So, yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a break real quick, go off camera, do a little bit of random such-and-so real quick. And then I think we'll instead of going to Mazulft, I think we're gonna go ahead and take a take the time, take the opportunity to go finish this once and for all. And it's gonna involve going to a new place. So uh, I will get back into that here in a moment when I come back. And we back, ladies and gentlemen. 
So, before I cut, I did mention we were going to go take care of the Galdar Amulet. Because I feel that that's kind of important to what we're going to be doing up ahead. Uh, the extra boost that we'll get from that item will be pretty useful, I think. So, to get there, and we actually go ahead and pull this up on the map so you guys have an idea of where we're going and what we'll be doing. Okay, so we're in Whiterun right now, obviously. And our objective is way over here. All the way to the west. In, uh, in the hold known as the Reach. And Markarth is the major city there. So we're just going to take the carriage to Markarth. We're not going to spend too much time in Markarth, actually. I'm probably just going to get to and then kind of make my way toward our objective, because Mark Arth has a lot going on that I feel would kind of be distracting at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of just make it a little bit of a, not even a pit stop. So let's go ahead and hire this guy. Uh, Mark Arth. And fortunately that's only 20 gold, and that's actually pretty affordable. I'm doing pretty well on money anyway, so I'm not too concerned. So we're just going to kind of go this way. Honestly, ooh, wait, it's like 2 in the morning. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and do... Let's go ahead and pop off a candlelight so we can see. I'm actually going to go ahead and keep Soul Trap handy because I did pick up some Soul Gems. I got a green Soul Gem. I don't know what I'm going to use that on. I've been debating on getting a black Soul Gem so that I can... Uh, basically be a little evil for a moment. Um, got a few commons, got a few lessers, got a lot of petties. So I'm going to hope to uh, grab something to put in those here on the way. Let's go ahead and make our way down. We'll go ahead and pull in for third person, even though I kind of like Now, I have a feeling there's going to be something waiting for at our destiny. Kind of hoping that it isn't the case, but uh, this is kind of a hunch that I've had. Um, since I started playing this game, I don't know if it's always a thing, but I'm thinking it's probably going to happen this time. Um, let's see, that path goes off towards what looks like some kind of other object, but we're clearly going into a cave. this down here. No idea. But we are going this way, it looks like. Huh. Rock. Oh. Down here. Okay, here we are. So, let's just kind of make our way down here. Uh, I think at this 
this point we want to keep our stone flesh handy. Adventurer here. He's got gold and potions. And he's got a copy of Lost Legends, so obviously he's heard about this. He kind of just skipped everything else, though. And there's Dragon Claw here. Ancient Edict. Let this place be forgotten forever. Let it be struck from the rolls of history. Let it never be spoken by man or mare. Let its very name be lost to the ages. Ye who enter here know. This place was sealed at great price. Honor those who perished here. Turn back and leave them to their rest. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and keep that as a souvenir, I guess. Considering I just completely disobeyed that. Okay. I'm thinking that our that we just picked up. Let me go ahead and take a look here. Emerald. Okay, so that's bear, fish, snake. This is where I'm going to go ahead and do a quick save. I say a quick save, but I do it through the menu. Wall. Um, let's keep moving. Wow. Enough doors, folks? Really? And there's another one up here, but is it the same thing? No, it isn't. If you remember, I had this. Pick this up over at Falgunthia, the Ivory Dragon Claw. And according to this, it is Bird Bird Dragon. Let's take a look at that and see what happens. Okay then. Oh, that one's empty. Okay. What's this over here? Potion. And another potion. There's an urn. What's in here? Ooh, gem. Take that. That's why it pays to pay attention, I guess. Uh, um, okay. So it looks like this is where we gotta go. Right up here. Okay, so I get the feeling, yeah, I get the feeling we're gonna have to go ahead and put the pieces here. Which means I'm gonna lose my enchant. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to fight without that magicka boost. Does that put me at two fifty? Oh dear. Let's go ahead and fix that for a moment here. I'm pretty sure that I've got Solution of Extra Magicka. Sixty points for sixty seconds. Yeah, I'm taking that. Cause look look what just showed up. These guys do not look happy to see me. Cause I kinda handed their asses to them earlier. So Mikkel's first to go.
Hold up. I've got something here that'll help me out a little bit. I didn't want to cast another one of those. I was trying to get to a heal, but I wasn't fast enough. <sighs> He's draining health from me, too, with his sword. So... That's why I'm kind of just being all hippity hoppity about it. Uh. Some accuracy would help, though. And he is down. <sighs> okay. That was kind of intense, and that was just one of them, so I'm going to save again. And I'm also going to... I need another stone flash. Because he's next. And this is... Ah, oh, this guy sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this staff real quick. Oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot about that. <sighs> He's got the disarming show, which I'm not a fan of. At least, not when it's used against me. When you get it, it's really fun, but, yeah. <sighs> so basically that pretty much rolls out all of my weapons. It's time to go into this magic. Just pure magic. Um... I don't think it's best in this situation. Fortunately, it's easier to tell him from the others this time. Because if you notice... What the... His helmet's different. Okay, we're out of magic. Miner, potion, miner, restore. I made some potions. Paying off. I'm okay with that. Let's see, I think we also need... Okay, we've got one more solution of extra magic up. Kind of thinking we probably could use that right now. We've also got a potion of destruction. Oh, I'm taking that. Ooh. Yeah. Where is he? Oh, yeah. Alright. Yep. Let's go ahead and pop off another save. This is your Galderson. This is the first one I fought. And for some reason, he's right in front of me. And he's resisting fireball. That sucks. Um hold on. I think those things where his staff will probably work well against him. Let's just find out. Let's go ahead and use your own weapon against you, buddy. Oh, yeah, he's resisting that, too. What? That's not cool. Okay. I think I'm in trouble. go? Way over there. Did he turn invisible? No, he's still getting up.
So seeing as nothing else seems to be working on him, we're just going to go ahead and melee on him for a minute. And we just took him out with a shout. I'm okay with that. That's cool. <sighs> Alright. Oh, they're all pissed at me. Whoa. This must be Archmage Galder. So, what's he doing? Yes! I've proven my worth to the Galder. Archmage Galder now. Uh, that's why he did that. Because I just whooped his sons twice over. And uh, basically avenged him completely. He's got a pile of gold sitting with him. Uh, I don't think he'll mind if I take that. So now we've got the completed Galder Amulet, which, as you can see, increases health, magicka, and stamina by 30 points. So when we put that on, look how beautiful that is. 280 magicka, 260 health, and 150 stamina. I'm happy with that. <coughs> So that means we can move forward with some uh, pretty cool stuff to come up with. To come from, uh, yeah. The next thing we need to do is probably go to Mazolft and take care of that. I'm gonna take a moment to do some looting here. Why well, pass an opportunity, you know? Oh, and this opened up. So here's some loot. It's a soul gem, a coin purse. It's in the box. An elven bow, which I already have one, but that's cool. I can sell that. Ooh, a gem, some more gold, a necklace, some iron boots, meh, and some loot picks. <coughs> here's a shield here. Also an imperial light helmet, but eh, I think I'm good. No. I don't know, I could sell that stuff. You know, why not? Every little bit counts. I'm doing okay for cash, but I could always be doing better. Look at it that way. That, and as I improve my speech skill, uh, prices start to get better for me, even without perks. Um, the better speech skill you have, prices start to work more in your favor. That, and I do believe I've now got leveled merchant, like, the amount that, the amount of gold that merchants have. I believe I have a mod that uh, levels that against your speech skill as well. So the, me the more, the higher your speech skill, eh, the higher your speech skill, the, uh, the more gold a merchant will have so that you can sell off like several thousand gold worth of loot in one go and not have to like go to merchants or do other stuff like that. I've also got another cool little role playing mod I guess, uh, the spouse store mod. Basically your in-game spouse becomes someone that you can basically fence your gear for, through. Like not necessarily fencing it but like you give them some stuff that you don't want, they will sell it at market value and then over time you can get the profits from that and they also level up their own speech skill in the process to make more money. So, so yeah, we, uh, we have completed this uh, little quest here. We are done with that. I've also picked up so I did some other stuff off camera I want to talk about real quick. I got Jazargos Experiment. This is a funny little side quest. I should have tried it while I was... No, I didn't. No, I'm glad I didn't try it while I was doing that. I probably would have died. Um, 
And then I also started a little bit of the Worm's Tooth quest line. And those of you who are not familiar with Worm's Tooth, it is, uh, it is a cool little quest mod that adds a, a distinct island that you can travel to. And it's a fun little side quest, and it also has the benefit of basically there's a there's a dragon that is extremely powerful. And you got to venture to this island to conquer him. And I'm kind of spoiling it, but there's a there's a, a ten thousand gold reward in that. So I don't know if I'm going to do that real quick after the major or yeah after the winter hold stuff. I might go ahead and just knock that one out of the park real quick, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, and go from there, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I did do the initial part of that quest line, which basically entailed me going and talking to a dragon that basically told me to bring it. Uh, there wasn't even a fight involved. It just looked at me and said, if you want to fight, come out here. So, yeah. That's, that's what that is. So I'm going to go ahead and sell off some loot real quick. You can have that. You can have that. You can have that. You can have that. Uh, yeah, you can have that. Speaking of speech skills going up. Well, let me see here. Amethyst and Flawless Garnet. You know, I think I'm actually going to hold on to those for a moment. So I want to go back. I might do this on camera real quick. Just, uh, just to see here. I want to try something. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of off-camera work here in a moment. I think I want to check out some more Fendrix and Midas Magic. Maybe get a few new spell tomes. I uh, just checked. We're kind of running toward the end of the episode here, so I'm going to wrap it up here. And when we come back, I think we're going to go ahead and take a resolved to see how that goes, because I'm, uh, I'm interested in doing that in the near future. I feel like we're, we're about hitting the point where the magic is going to just start getting ridiculous, um, especially going through Resolved and then following parts of the College of Winterhold quest line. They get kind of challenging, especially for a mage build. So we're going to go ahead and do some stuff here to make sure that I am properly equipped to handle what's a, what comes ahead 
and I'm going to go ahead and start making use of some of the new magic mods that I've added here to uh, to make it more interesting. So until next time, this has been Drew, aka the Redrew89. Thanks for watching. Take care.